Six years ago, a group of friends got together with an idea to have a Southwest Texas infused sushi restaurant. And the idea is here in Denton. Welcome to Foodie Friday DFW and welcome to Komodo Loco. Kyle, what a cool place you have here. Thank you very Seriously. much, we like it. Yeah, you should. I mean, it's everything I've heard about. Um, I mean, this is a true destination restaurant here in Denton. I would say absolutely. Yeah, going on six years now, right? Yeah, just over six years, yeah. Good, so you get this idea with a group of friends for a sushi Southwest vibe restaurant. Yes. And you're coming up with a name, and it almost was called Kimono Loco, but that kind of sends a different message. Instead, we got Komodo Loco. Yeah, so Crazy Dragon, you know, we can, we're free to do whatever we want. And uh, we don't have to make excuses because we're because awesome. we're loco, right? Yeah, but you know what? I don't think you're crazy as much as you're having a good time. Yes, definitely. We have a lot of fun here. Our customers and employees, staff, owners, everybody comes in here and expects and does have a good time. Now, something interesting about your staff, I hear that they've been with you majority of the time it's open. Yeah, I have servers that have been here since we opened, um, chefs that have been here since our first year open, which we're talking. Two years, three years, four years, five years, people have worked here and we don't have a lot of turnover, which is very nice. It makes it makes my job easier for oh, sure. Oh, absolutely. You know, being a restaurant owner, I mean, that's one of the challenges is labor and everything else. But I understand that the people that you've hired were already fans of the restaurant. A lot of them, yeah. They've emailed us or come in and we've, we've hired Uber delivery drivers. They're like, dude, like every time I pick up from here, everyone's so nice and it looks fun in there. and. I just want to be a part of it. That's so. good. So one thing I heard from a friend recently is they came here on a date, then came back here with their friends. Yes. And now you have people that are coming here for birthdays, anniversaries. Tell me a little bit about the vibe. What happens here at night? It's just, I mean, you obviously have this cool historic building. There's always fun, cool music playing. The food looks great, tastes great. It's creative. Everyone's just having a good time. And it, it shows. The customers love it. People, like I said, they're still finding us after all these years, and then they're like, what have I been doing? Like, right. This is down the street or right. 20 minutes away, we've been missing out. Well, you're in a super walkable area just east of the square yes. here in downtown Denton. Yes. And there's music and restaurants everywhere, which is a perfect fit. But when you look around, I mean, when I walked in, I was like, yeah, this place looks like a wonderful place to have dinner. Yes, it, it's awesome. And like I said, we've had people that visit from LA and Chicago and Miami, all these big cities, and they and when they come back to town, they want to come eat here, and that that's something special. Well, good. I'm hoping we could tell more people in DFW to come here as well. Absolutely. But Foodie Friday is about the food. Yes. So, what are we having today? Today we're gonna be trying trying a range of things. Uh, we're gonna have our local egg rolls, which I feel like kind of embody our concept. They're made with uh, chorizo and pineapple and kimchi with cilantro lime sauces. So that's kind of like our concept in a roll, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna try some beef tataki. It's marinated, seared, sous vide, it's sliced thin, topped with house guacamole, ponzu sauce, topped with crispy garlic, pico de gallo, it's fantastic, looks wow, great. What a collision of flavors. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we do a lot of things with like chimichurri sauces and just kind of southwestern Texas type flavors. Right. You know, even our spicy mayo is with chipotle, you know. But we're gonna try some uh, tuna and crab cones. Spice. They're uh, spicy crab salad and spicy tuna and topicos and these little mini uh, unsweetened waffle cones. They look like ice cream. People don't know what they are, but they look great. They taste awesome. We're gonna try some of our kind of more traditional style ramen. Uh, maybe some tachos, which is your loaded tater tots with all of our Asian flavored meats and sauces. You had me at tater tots. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd pleaser. People, you know, like, oh, we haven't been there. You know, we don't we don't eat sushi, and I'm like, so. Come you don't like queso show. and pulled pork and, and Korean barbecue sauce, you know? So we have, uh, we say we have something for everybody. Right. A lot to offer. You also have this incredible bar. Yes. Um, we've retained and had a lot of friends that have worked here that are really creative. And uh, we, we let them, I mean, I don't even touch the bar menu anymore. Uh, I let them create, you know, probably quarterly. They're, they're throwing on new cocktails and stuff. We have some staples that we're not allowed to take off the menu. So there's like, kind of four or five rotating spots. Um, some of those that have kind of stuck with this uh, called the Boogie Woogie Feng Shui. It's oh. uh, Bobby's gin and a house-made blackberry syrup and lemon and soda. And uh, it's just fun stuff like that. We got one called Professor Plum, AKA Plum Dog Millionaire. I mean, we just kind of have fun with it. And uh, they're, cool. they're 
specialty crafted cocktails and ingredients made in-house. So your menu is already making me laugh. Yeah. Okay, you had me at those rolls in the beginning. That sounds amazing. Your drinks sound fun. It's a great place to come here and eat and laugh and just enjoy a great meal. Absolutely. Tell me, last question. If you could tell 10,000 people one thing about Komodo Loco, look into the camera, what would you say? I would say first, don't sleep on Denton. If you live in surrounding communities and you haven't been down to check out what we have to offer around here, you're missing out. And as far as Komodo Loco goes, it's Asian fair with a Texas twist. It's a really fun environment, creative food, and it's just a blast to be here and enjoy with friends and family. Kyle, thank you so much. It's been so much fun. You guys gotta come down here and drink a Professor Plum, AKA the Plum Dog Millionaire, Millionaire right? Yeah. That, that plus their food menu is the real thing. Thank you so much for watching Foodie Friday DFW and get down here and try Komodo Loco.